welcome back. In the previous part, we met Pascal down there at the bottom, you can see there. Now, you may notice her title is Skimpy Cowgirl. Now, the reason for that is, it's obviously a costume. And I really do like Pascal's Cowgirl costume. It is a bit skimpy, but it just looks so good compared to the other two that we can get here. Mad Scientist, though, is just Still very nice, very nice, but it's still like, no, out of all these, the Skimpy Cowgirl is the one I like, mainly because of the hat. I really like the hat. Anyway, let's actually progress through these ruins here that Pascal brought us to. We'll try and do one of every enemy. Might use if I've got one. Do I have one? A holy bottle one to get the chest. Oh, we got a sage. Um, I think Pascal needs some health here. She really does, she really does. But yeah. So, we'll do one of every enemy, and if we come up against new ones, we, well, we're coming up against new ones pretty much now, aren't we? Game on. Fight, yeah, we're going to get the same after this, that's the issue, so it's like, got the fun music again, though. Okay, Expected them to actually come around me and stuff, but no. Oh, damn it. There we go. Defeated two enemies at once, XP plus 15! Already got a level up for Pascal. Alright then. Student of Gun and Glyph. Alright. Let's see if we can avoid you. Get on this thing here. Can't remember 100% where I'm meant to go in here, by the way. There is some extra treasure around if I do go off in another direction. Somewhere, but there's no skits if I go in another direction at this point. Anyway, there is some more ruins later on, as you would expect, to do with the Amarsians. We will find out who they are, by the way, so don't worry about that. Let's go with this first. Well, that's not relevant to now, is it? Oh, we're going to have to face you. It would be funny if I appeared behind it, though. Still love this music. It's just so fun. I don't know it, but you know, I got some of the notes, right? You were great, Pascal. Oh, you finally realized my greatness. Let's celebrate with a high five. Huh? Yes, yeah, she, she gone. She, she gone. The music, I love it. That's just, it's just nice to have something I really enjoy from the music for once, like properly, properly, like on a just a instinctual level enjoy. It's just like, oh, this is great. Where are we going? Is this the right way or the wrong way? Oh, there's a safe point here. We'll go here first. Ah, so that's definitely related to that red one we just had. I'm, I'm curious about that now. You'll see when I get there. Let's, let's avoid the bat. Well, you've gone and gone that one, ain't you? You've gone and gone that way. Is it related to that one? Is it something else? Huh. Well, I'm still going back because I'm too curious now. This is the only thing. It's like... I, I like these ruins. Like they are throughout the game, like I said, but there's something about them where I like, I like the puzzle nature of it. Because I like a good little puzzle. And there's not too many enemies. That's the thing. I, I hate puzzles where there's like there's too many enemies around. It's like you can avoid these ones. It's like, it's just, just nice. Aha. Here we are. Here we are. Yes. We'll take 58. We've got a Scarlet Aroma. Oh, who's that for? Is it for Pascal? Who's the aroma for? I can't remember who the aromas are for. Well, clearly not these guys, but at least we got it. Yay! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say to you. Like, we got that and we got some Elith. All in a day's work. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Right. So, anyway, we need to progress to the actual story now. Should be pretty much where the save point is, so we should be good. So what's that red one for there? Hmm. <laughs> I'm assuming we'll be back then later. Okay, so we've got to save points. Obviously, there's going to be a boss, but we should be all right. We are probably a bit over-leveled for where we are right now, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we could leave already, but we need to go up here first. Oh, yay! So here's the device that shows the illusions. Something's approaching. 
The footsteps sound strange. What do you mean? Did they have four hooves? Yikes! What's that? Uh, some kind of gecko? Here it comes! We will survive! Let's, let's get around you. Again, being quiet so I can actually focus on the battle. In case you're wondering. See that? Like, start speaking, doing it wrong. Ah, damn it, I didn't expect that. Oh, back off. Oh no, we might be able to take it if we get it while it's defending. Well, not defending, it was stunned, wasn't it? No one can stand before my blade. Indeed. I want royal crablets. No reason. Just just want them. Whew. That was unexpected. Was it? I mean, did you see the save point? That would have given it away. How does this device work? It doesn't. It's a cinch! You just tappy tappy on this thingamabob here and then ka chunk on the little dongle. Oh, so I like these kind of instructions. Simple. Easy. I have no idea what you're trying to say. He doesn't speak, Pascal. Just try it. Oh, come on, it's super easy. What did you press? Alright, step aside. I'll show you. It moved. Did it? Oh. Well, that's definitely Sophie. Look! It's me. I mean, is it? I mean, you've only got one of those, um... Ponytails, pigtails, which one, which one would they be in this case? This must be the illusion Pascal was talking about. She's right. It looks just like Sophie. No, it's vaguely similar. Can you not see the costume we've given her? I know, right? They're identical! They're not. I mean, that's made this scene very weird. Now do you see why I totally wanted to touch Sophie? No. So was this device also constructed long ago by the Amarcians? Yeah, probably. But I don't know, I'm still kind of researching it. He dead. Aww, there it goes. Sophie, did seeing the illusion help you remember anything? No. I see. So we don't know how this is connected to her, or if it's even connected at all. I mean, it has to be connected. What do you want about? It's literally... It, what? I know. I wish I had a manual or whatever. And this writing's all smudgy and faded, so I can't really tell what it says. If I squint real hard, I can read the word lambda. But that's it. Is this something to do with Half-Life 3? Lambda? What does that mean? Some other words are here. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Lambda. If you're wondering why I'm making Half-Life references, look up what a Lambda actually is. I feel like I heard that word a long time ago. Lambda. Pascal, are you sure you can't make out anything else? Or let us know down in the comments what it is. Mmm, nope, sorry, show's over. We don't have time to sit around thinking about it. Let's keep moving. But I want to sit down. Oh, alright then, in the flesh title. Oh, discovery. Projection device. Takes one to know one. What's your take on this, Asbel? About? 
about the Sophie that appeared in the machine. It was nearly a perfect double of her. Don't you even have a theory? Not really. That isn't like you at all, Asbel. Aren't you supposed to be her guardian? Supposed to be, but I don't know anymore. Come on, Asbel. Get it together. You're all she has. I am? You belong by her side. Having found myself in a similar situation, it is a feeling I know well. In fact, even now I continue to be in your debt. Thanks, Richard. I appreciate it. Why are you thanking me? Well, it just felt like the right thing to say. Still not 100% convinced on Richard's delivery of these lines, really. Also, if you're wondering why it faded there, I went to the loo. Because, you know, I needed to go to the loo. It's, it's a natural thing before you start going on about it. It's just like everyone needs to go to the loo sometimes. Oh dear, oh dear. I do like these. There's something about these green ones. I don't know, like, the blue ones I don't like. It's, it's strange. It's like you think it doesn't really matter that much, but... I don't know, there's so much just about the green ones, I like seeing them. The orange ones especially my favourite. These pink ones, rubbish. See here, it's like, had I gone up there, that would have changed things. Oh, still went the wrong way. Alright, so what we need to do is clearly go up to that blue one up there. And then we'll come round, we'll knock the pink one into the right position. That'll make us stop at the right position. Ooh, a hyperdense crystal. It's so dense. I don't know where to begin on how dense it is. Let's see, look, disengaged. Is that the right word for that? Disengage? No power? Uh, what would a word be for that? Stationary? I don't know, it just went to, went to darker blue, so... I don't know, it feels like there should be a word for that. Right, nothing else there. So, like, where are we going now? It's a nice little puzzle. That there's some harder ones later, basically. There really are. Floral anklet, that will go on Sophie. Let's see here. I really should get into some battles so I can get some royal crablets, because I do like royal crablets. This is just a good little scene that we have at the end of battles. I just don't want to do it in case. I don't want to do it sort of like, um, we might get sort of random battles anyway, so it's sort of like, may as well just wait. A steel tunic? Let's equip that on as Bell. Lovely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, what we got around here? Is that situation again, and where exactly do we want to go? So that'll send us back up, but where does this one take us? Now see, that's clearly got to be important for later. And this one, this blue thing will now disengage. Really, I need a new word for that. Someone, someone think of a word where I could use there instead of disengage when it goes to the dark blue and I can't use it anymore. There's got to be a better word. Okay, so what we've got a life bottle. Okay, we've not got a life bottle, but we'll take it. Sort of. So weird. All this piecing together. Down here. No. Should be a skit around somewhere. Involving a stone. I think it's this thing. Yeah, there we go. Silent stone. What is this? Is this a Creus husk? I've heard of Creus that could no longer absorb Elif, but I've never actually seen any. I can't even begin to imagine how long these ruins have been here. Oh, I'd say like 500 years. That's a guesstimate, but we're directly beneath a river that flows from Lake Grail to the sea. Which means? Well, I can't imagine someone just walked over and dropped these relics off for no apparent reason. It means they're equally as old. Come on, think about it. No one would be dumb enough to just build those ruins right under a river. Although that would have been interesting to see. So, they're at least 500 years old, but they could be older? Why not? 500 years, 1,000 years, something like that. Wow, this place is a lot older than I expected. Or they did build it under the river, which is entirely possible. It could just be a tunnel network under the river. Why, why could it not be that? Seems strange. Alright, 
so I think this is the point where we leave now, but just got to see where things are. Because I still want to get these royal crablets. I can like, there's still little, little things I've got to go wander around and f try and find, I assume. Just hearing Pascal in the background. I love this music, seriously, it's just so fun. We won't fail. We probably will. Oh, I interrupted the music. Oh well. We didn't get royal crablets. Oh, royal crablets though. There's another device here too. Where does this one take us? It looks like the one at the entrance. Yeah, that's because it's the same thing. It takes us to the exact same spot? What's the point of that? So, can we use it to reach the other side? Nope. This one just poofs you right into the middle of Wallbridge. Yeah, maybe we don't want to do that. Which is pretty silly, unless you want to tour a fortress. That's okay. We're in a hurry. Aw, I bet it's a fun tour. This, there's an actual tour? Well, we don't want to do that. Especially because we're trying to avoid them at the moment. The military. So we won't go there. Ooh, ooh. So, which way did I come from? That way? So I think this way is actually back to the start. I'm not sure which one it is, though. I think it's this one's the back to the start. The whole thing. Because, 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 because it is? I don't know. I think it is? I'm not 100%. I'm sure there was some other treasure we could find down here. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, this one's definitely back to the start, just because that little fade out it did. I'm assuming that's nothing that way then. Maybe, maybe let's let's just go have a little test. All I need is like a treasure or something that's clearly been taken. Just something, because like, why is this pink one here? Okay, so clearly I've not been here then. Why would they have that there otherwise? Yeah, there's a chest that I've not opened. Right, good. We're, we're fine. We're fine. It's just... Oh. Oh, I do love these little puzzles. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm hoping for a war of crablets here. I'm stoned. Not again. Can, can someone... Thank you. I don't know if someone did anything or it just ran out or something like that. Nice, Richard. That was impressive. Well, I'm nowhere near your level, Asbel. Okay, alright. Again, get a room, you two. We do need to get Royal Crablet, though. I can't lose. It doesn't hurt to get a bit of extra SP, especially because we can get Pascal's okay. of a costume as a result if we get quite a bit. Okay. Just timed that then. Ugh, it turned when I didn't expect it to. Alright, calm down. It's something like that. Eventually I will learn that. Ah, there we go, you see? Oh, I caught something. That's it! Two panacea bottles. Yay! Two panacea bottles. Oh. Victory is ours. Give me royal crablets. So where are we going? I'm gonna give up on the royal crablets. Oh, there we go. A burn charm. Is that good? Does this send me back to the star as well? Because this feels like the start. Yeah, 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 because I could have gone up there. Okay. Right, so let's head back and go the other way and finally leave this place. Because I think that's us done in terms of chests, etc. But if we do leave and come back in, we should get another skit. 
which you never want will actually want to see. I think it's something to do with Pascal and sort of her um what's the best way of putting it? Ditzy nature? Ditzy. I I really enjoy Pascal though. She's fun. She's a bit odd with her touchy feely stuff, but you know, she's still fun. She's still fun. She's just a bit, you know, molesty. It's the only way of putting it, isn't it, really? Oh, hello. Game on! Pascal, what's an airhead? Someone who's so smart they can control air with their mind. Wow, you're amazing. Really? See, there it's just sort of like clearly they were calling her an airhead and she took it the wrong way. Oh dear, oh dear. Are we there yet? Feels like we should be there. I don't know. Ah, yes, because we're meant to go up this green thingy, aren't we? Are we? Or is that the way up to the exit we don't want? This is the way we're meant to go. I don't remember anymore. Is there any problem? Aha, here we go. We're out of here. Looks like we cleared Wallbridge. Now we can continue to Grailside. Oh, you're going to Grailside? No, I don't know where you got that idea from. See you later. You've been a great help, Pascal. Thank you. Take the hint. Wait, hang on. I want to go to Grailside too. Why doesn't that surprise me? You don't have some sneaky reason for following us around, do you? Involving touchy feely. <laughs> Maybe. Oh dear. Are you serious? It's because I want to get closer to Sophie. Huh? Yeah, I want to touch her and study her and and learn about her and uh, touch her. <laughs> <laughs> I like the added touch there with it. <laughs> no offense, but I'm not interested in the rest of you. Well, of course not. They didn't appear on any monitors, did they? So can I come? Please, Asbel? Please? Um, whoever you are? Richard. Richard, got it! Hey, Sophie, who do you like best? Me? Asbel or the other guy? The other guy. Asbel. Well, that was to be expected. Aw, come on! I want you to like me, too! She's a bit eccentric, but I think we can trust her. All right, Pascal. You can come with us. Yay! It's like they say, trips are all about meeting people, right? No. Now then, shall we head for Grailside? No. Well, apparently we are. All right then, very well. But nope, we're going back inside first. Because there's another skit. Somewhere. There we go. Touched in the head. So, there's the illusion of the girl and then Lambda. Could that mean that Lambda... Are you thinking about something? I'm wondering about this Lambda thing that was in the records. I'd like to know too. Maybe touching you will help us figure it out! Really? I guess we could try. Don't listen to her. She's lying, Sophie. Nothing so far. What are you doing? Oh, I'm touching me. She found a loophole to my logic. <laughs> that was it. That was the scene. I guess it was worth seeing? You can be the judge of that. Right, so onwards we go, and we're looking for some potato. What? We're caught on like nothing there. Yeah, we're looking for some potatoes. Potatoes. Pota I need to do some jewelizing, actually. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so stamp card's going well. We'll charge the mixer as well. Lovely. And we'll dual lies. Let's do some of the random things. A glow fruit. Mysterious liquid. So, gelatin. Can you make gelatin from fur? I thought it was the fat of animals we made gelatin from. 
Alright then. Very well. Okay, pop petal down. A blue cloth! Oh, lovely! Made a feather badge. Fantastic. Anything in terms of meat? Burnt ch- Ooh! So this is what I like, we can combine two of them together. So let's see here, can't do anything with the katana. Um. Hmm. We go with the defense shard. On the armor, but the steel tunic. Do it on that one, that tunic as well. It's attack boosting. We'll do that on the silk blouse now. Don't want to do it on the iron one because I'm not ready for that. But the mine shard will do it on um, steel short staff for now. I mean, we are going to be replacing these, so it's sort of like we'll just see how it goes about. Let's right, first stuff together. So there you go. You can combine stuff randomly. I say randomly. It's not random at all, but I don't need to do that. It's like I want to I want to combine that, but no, not yet, not yet. Right. Get this sorted out with the sword, etc. And where's my potatoes? Where are my potatoes? Need more and more of that mysterious liquid. I remember that being a thing I really, really did need. Quite a bit of. Have we done an apple guy? I think we did an apple guy, haven't we? In a previous part anyway. We'll we'll, we'll go for an apple guy. Be careful, everyone. Mainly because we get the big trees. Still didn't get a royal crablet. How far are we from getting Pascal's costume, though? Because it's like I said, I like this costume quite a bit. It really does suit her. Oh, it's just like just 500 away. Right. Richard, what's wrong? Nothing, I just wanted to kneel down here. Will you marry me? Nothing. I'm fine. We've been walking for a while. Do you want to rest? I don't want to slow you down. Hey, come on! If you feel all woobly, you shouldn't push it. I think this is why I like Pascal, just the random word usage. We don't mind taking a little break, right, Sophie? Sophie? Stay back! Mm -hmm. Hmm. Richard? I I'm sorry. You startled me. Aw, uh, don't worry, Sophie. He's just kind of shy. He probably just has a thing for you or whatever, because he got all worked up when you touched him. What is it with you and the touching? Wait, oh my gosh. That means he's my rival! Oh, dear. Sophie, you can't like him too. You just said you liked Asbel the best. You can't keep changing your mind like this. What's gotten into you two? I like how Asbel just completely ignores Pascal. Asbel, Sophie, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I think I'm just very tired. Richard, are we friends? Yes, Sophie, of course we are. Friends? Then why? Let's keep going. Then why what? What? Hmm. Still after those potatoes. A lovely, lovely potato. I feel like they're... Here. Oh. Settling for number two. So, what's Grailside like? It's on the shores of Lake Grail, ruled by a man named Duke Dallin. Can I also ask who this Duke Dallin is? He's a distant relative of the royal family. Yet he maintained the largest standing army in the kingdom. Dallin's father saved my father's life a long time ago. And our families have been close ever since. And you think Duke Dallin will... save you? I think he can be a great deal of help. Perhaps more so than anyone else. More than anyone? Asbel? No, I just mean, it's good to have such a powerful ally at your side. Uh-huh. Right, so I'm thinking 
this is probably a good place to end this part. In the next part, we'll look at these potatoes here. Lovely discovery. So, we shall see you then. Dot half an hour.